Hey, what's going on everyone? We are back. We have to change the coolant temperature sensor location. That's gonna be our first order of business. <laughs> That's gonna be our first order of business. So let's get started. You're in a mood today. Yeah, so are you. You're, I'm gonna send you inside. Okay. <laughs> All right, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and get this air box out of the way. This thing is a monstrosity and we are not reusing this part of it. The only part we're reusing is the actual, is the box over here where the air filter is in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, uh, this intake cover off. It's just a plastic cover. We have all these clips. We gotta pull these out, these uh, wire looms and uh, the wiring harness to get it out of the way. So let's go ahead and get those pulled off. You have four bolts, it looks like holding this cover on. What's it clipped on to? I don't know. I think we're gonna have to pull the intake off first. Cool temperature sensor right here. This is what's going to be getting moved to the side of the block. So what I did is I took our uh, map sensor off here, and I think I think this is like an evap canister or something. I don't have to look it up. I think there's probably there should be four bolts on each side. Uh, I'm double check, and then we should be able to lift the intake up and out of the way. And then once I lift it and move it, I can get to the back to get the clip off this cover. Ugh. Yeah, it's just clipped in here. That. That bracket thingy is what was giving us all the hassle. I don't know if anything's gonna come spewing out of this. It shouldn't spew, it's just it's probably gonna leak out. So what we're gonna do here, this this kit came with a wiring harness, which I've already I've fed the wiring harness down, it's like right here, it came with your adapter, which your coolant temperature sensor will go into this adapter, and this adapter will go into the block. But it also came with a plug to plug up the old coolant temperature sensor hole. See, here it is right here. Alright, so next we're going to go ahead and put our adapters on. These are made by ICT Billet. If you watched our other video on the when the parts came in, you would have seen me talking about these. They're going to adapt the supercharger to the heads of the L83. Alright, so your side that has your O-rings from them right here is going to go onto the heads because your supercharger will have the gaskets to go on the top. So the smooth side goes up, grooved side goes down. So you just take your O-ring, just go around pressed in really good. You just do that for all other, the other seven. I'm gonna throw these on the truck. Tighten these, be very careful, and you can easily strip out the threads in the aluminum head. Now that this part's done, that's really all we can do right now up here until we finish some other things. And one of those things is we have to hook up our coolant temperature sensor relocation kit. So this kit's going to come with a wiring harness, which I've already kind of ran down there, which you can see right here. Uh, 
I've got it plugged in already. This is your original harness for the coolant temperature sensor. We plugged the original spot for the coolant temperature sensor right here. So that's been plugged up and we're gonna move it down there and it's gonna be on the side of the block. All right, so we're underneath the truck. It's kind of hard to film under here, so I'm just gonna kind of show you. So you know exactly what's this right here is the bell housing of the transmission. That right there is the plug that you're gonna remove. But this is gonna be on your driver's side on the back side of the engine block. Dang it, are you all right? Well, now that I'm covered in coolant, that was awesome. It's fun. Um, okay, so here's our adapter right here. Here's our coolant temp sensor. Our adapter is going in the block, and then the washer that goes on it. This washer will go like that. Uh, I went ahead and wrapped Teflon tape around the coolant temp sensor before I put it in, and we'll put it around this piece too. And then, I don't have a socket or an adjustable wrench that'll fit this, so I just so happen to remember I have a water heater element wrench that I've had for years. Look at that. Perfect fit. That's what I'm going to use. Here's your plug right here where it's plugged in. So that's where it goes when you relocate it. It's right here on the back of the block. All right, that's going to be it for this video. If y'all missed out on the first parts of this build, check them out right here. We'll be back here in a few days. Later.